on this episode of Roaches to Wrenches. I tried going Black Friday shopping. I didn't have much luck. <laughs> That's the truck. It's boiling pretty good, so. Let's go. Can I get up? Chip, 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 chip. Everywhere, chip, chip. Up, down, left, right. Chip, 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 chip. Shorty's moving again. Chip, shorty's loose with the pen. Chip, shorty do with the wind. Chip, 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 chip. Whoa. Don't f***ing speed, you guys. You're gonna end up like my dumb ass. Give y'all a little update after. Shit. Officer nailed my ass, dog. All right, what's going on? I'm gonna show y'all my little light system I got going on here. So just to do a quick explanation because I didn't film the whole thing I was doing. So basically I had all these lights right here. I've had them, I've had them since the summer just sitting in here because uh, I wanted to wire them up when I get when I get the truck, you know, little work lights, especially if I'm doing something on the side of the road or whatever because I do work stuff and things too. And you know, when I'm, when I'm towing cars or whatever, Anyway, so what I got going on here is I got the top light bar and I got these other ones I'm gonna put them on the sides and on the in the grill of the truck. That's my plan And of course I got the, this controller. I had two controllers. I got this one I got this one because I bought these separately the completely different system So what I did basically was I hardwired these together you can see right here. I soldered these on so my goal was to have Make it possible where I can switch I can switch this thing on and I can have power supplied to the everything at the same time. Cause I didn't want to have multiple systems and have a ton of multiple things on. I had this thing right here came inside this this thing that plugs into the into the charge port in the truck. So this here is the ground. This is the positive. This right here, this yellow and black wire on this side is just to change change the pattern of, of the light bar. And then this right here. This bottom switch is the actual power. So, and then what I did was I wired, I wired the positive from this one right here to this. And yeah, and then the ground from the ground from this thing to, to this side also. So I basically connected it in parallel so that way this the light bar on the top will get the same amount of power as the rest of the thing. I don't want to have too much resistance and then nothing nothing that nothing will, will light up. Just to test it out real quick, I got my little battery charger. Connect this to the power. Connect this one to the ground. Okay, this is the moment of truth, you guys. This is the moment of truth. I got that on. Let's turn the power on and see what happens. Oh jeez. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so this is working. Okay, so now we got power right here. So all I gotta do is just push the A, and the same thing, the A, B, and the C, is just to change the pattern of, of these lights right here. Oh yeah, this is working. Jeez. Let me step back a little bit. Whew. I wonder what it looks like with the blinds closed. Sheesh. Looks like I got a little party going on in here. A little rave going on in here. These don't look bad. Anyway, I gotta get this done right away. But I might be needing them today or tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, so. I gotta wire these up. On. Okay guys, this here is just a little update. So I'm at the truck right now. I'm trying to uh, rig everything up. So at first I tried, I tried mounting this, everything right here on that side, on the driver's side, cause I thought it would be easier access for me. However, it was just really tough going on there cause there was just no easy access from 
from the cabin to the outside of the vehicle or from the cabin to the engine bay i realized that going through the glove box is actually the way to go so here i have the mounted i just tape this thing this this module and the switch together and then i got this right here i sorted the power cables over here and i routed them through the glove box to this little area right here this is that power cable right there i routed it it goes inside the fender and then it comes out right here so then all i gotta do is attach attach this cables right here to the positive and negative and then i'll have power to the thing this right here the cable for the light bar this right here connects to the switch that switch right there same same thing comes out here through the glove box into right here and then i, I brought it out this to area right here what i gotta do is once I get my light bar, I'm going to place it on the top of the vehicle how I want it. Plug this thing in, stretch it out so there's as little wire as possible showing on the roof of the car. Then I'm going to tuck everything inside this, this gasket right there, inside this door gasket. So that way there's going to be, it's all going to look clean. I'm, tr I'm trying to mount this thing. I'm trying to mount this whole system as cleanly as possible. Okay, so I got the top light bar fully mounted. It's up there, everything's even. And I also ran it all the way through the module. So I got that, I stretched the wire, and basically I have it in here. I got it plugged right there. I couldn't shove, so basically what I did was I, I mean, I got the wire up in here. I put it inside the molding, ran it all the way up here. Inside the molding down here, comes out right here into where this is and then obviously it goes down here into the switch so i mean this is going pretty clean i mean this is working out just as well if not better than i expected so now i just gotta wire up the other stuff okay guys you can barely even notice that i got these these little lights zip tied in there so i spent took me a little while to get them on there but so just to show y'all the inside of it so I got them zip tied in there. They're all even on there. So it's kind of the stealth look I'm looking for. I only want them to be visible when the lights are on. Not, you know, I don't want like a bunch of things sticking out or whatever. So I mean, it looks it looks all right in there. I gotta cut cut those things off. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use all of them. If there's anywhere to put them, you know. I wanted to put one on the side right there, but I tr I tried mocking it up. And it didn't really, it didn't look right, just didn't go right. So the only place I got left to put them is in the cabin area. Let's just hope the, the extensions I got are long enough. Okay, update time. So I ended up just taking two more, two more of the lights and screwing them into the headliner. I just screwed them straight into the headliner. I just took screws. I don't have, this kit was so cheap. It didn't come with suction cups or anything, but I mean, for the price of the kit, I cannot complain at all. This whole light system cost me around $80. So that's how much that cost me in total. So I still got that module in there. All I have left is I just got to hook up the lights from the engine bay and up here and just get all the extension wires right there and hook them up and connect them to the module. Ladies and gentlemen, daylight is a luxury at this time of year. So you can understand my frustration when people take up all my damn time. Don't take up my damn time, because I was dark outside. And this is all I got left. But guess what? I got to grind. I got to grind, man. This ain't even about no grind. I just got to get this thing done. Let's finish up lighting up this truck, man. Show y'all how it looks like in the dark outside, too. Okay, truck overheated. Figured I want to catch something on camera. The pipe looks pretty pressurized, so I don't know. Uh, I mean, I know there's ice in the thing because I pour water in there, so it's probably going to kill the water pump, but I just want to catch this on camera in case something pops off. Oh, jeez, I don't even want to do this, man. I've done this before. Blast your face. Yep. You can hear it already. Oh, there it goes. I don't even want to do it, man. Oh, sheesh. Oh, I'm so scared, dude. 
I'm probably just gonna let it bleed out like that. This thing is boiling, man. Oh, shoosh. Moral of the story, kids, don't put water in your coin. I was just trying to get all this water out before I can actually... Oh, sheesh. Okay. I guess it's just chugging away. Anyway, of course, I'm just on the side of the road. Huh? Yeah. That's all coolant. That coolant should have all been flushed out. Let's hope we're good. Boom. Okay, boys. Made it back home. That's the truck. Uh, it's, uh, it's boiling pretty good, so. Anyway. Yeah. Once this thing calms down. Oh, yeah, I gotta show y'all the lights. Let me show y'all the lights. Yeah, just, uh, don't, don't mind the steam. You can even hear it boiling from inside here. Anyway, I just gotta do that. Little module right here. All I gotta do is turn this on. It turns the light at the top. Push the A for the other ones in the front. Let me come outside and show y'all what it looks like. The same bed. Me, let me get a wide shot. Yeah. Y'all have no idea how many times I've needed lights on a truck if I was doing work or something like that. Or if I got, you know, if I'm towing a car and I'm trying to uh, mount it up on the side of the road or whatever. And, you know, I got people almost running into my ass on the on the side of the road because they don't know I'm stopped or whatever. Or if I'm doing snow removal or doing some kind of work. Yeah, these lights tell people, no, you know, I'm working. I'm doing something. Stay cautious, you know, things like that. So... Yeah, I mean, it was pretty time consuming. I'm not trying to kiss my own ass or anything, but this is one of the cleanest light light kind of deals I've, I've seen on a truck, especially for a DIY job. I mean, most of the guys, even even you look on cop cars and stuff, I've seen cop cars where they just got the wires strewn all over the dash and things like that. Let me turn these off. I don't want people. So yeah, again, just to turn them off. Boom that back up all the lights are off it wasn't too difficult just took a lot of time you know especially being clean uh of course you know i had the lights in there i basically ran the extension wires all the way all the way through here you know routed them around the fender or everything inside these lights these lights up here I tucked them up under the visors ran them down this this pillar tucked them in the pillar um molding and, and you know put them inside there and everything everything it turned out really nicely so i mean y'all saw it right here you know you don't see you don't see a lot of work truck light lights looking looking this clean especially on the inside you know this is kind of the look i was looking for so yeah it's pretty cheap too good scientists talk to me kid how's life working keep your money up gear killer murky niggas i'm strong been through the mountains i'm like martin one spartan guaranteed to blow up you start with me my measurements is ordinance little bit